Hello students, uh, today's lecture is about qualitative and quantitative inheritance and we will be discussing these two aspects of extensions of Mendelian genetics. Let us discuss first qualitative inheritance and the example of this is duplicate genes in the ratio 15 is to 1. This was first of all observed by Nelson L with respect to seed color in goats which is amina sativa and this was also observed by G. H. Schull in Shepherd's Birds plant Capsula bursa pasteris with respect to fruit shaped triangular capsule and ovoid capsule. So you can see here in the slide the fruits and the pictures of the plants. Now in oats or amina sativa the plants uh, black colored and white colored parents they were crossed and in F1 only black colored progeny was observed. So from this it was concluded that probably black is dominant over white and the color is controlled by one pair of genes. But when F1 were selfed, in F2, 15 black is to 1 white ratio was observed. And this was a modification of dihybrid ratio because 15 plus 1 is 16. So it was concluded that probably this is a dihybrid ratio and this is a modified dihybrid ratio uh, and the example is of epistasis. Similarly, in Shepherd's purse or Capsula versus Bursa pastoris, parents, triangular and ovoid, fruit shaped parents were crossed, and in F1, triangular uh, fruit was observed. But in F2, 15 is to 1 ratio of triangular is to ovoid was observed, which again gave indication that probably this is a modified dihybrid ratio. Now, how to explain this 15 is to 1 ratio? Now let us understand it some more. So duplicate genes, uh, in duplicate genes or qualitative inheritance we get the ratio of 15 is to 1. So you can see in this checkerboard that all those genotypes which have any dom dominant allele they will be black in color. Like in this checkerboard you can see that there are 15 genotypes which have at least one dominant allele so the presence of one dominant allele is sufficient enough to give it a black color whether the, the, the dominant allele is, is capital B or capital W it does not matter one the presence of one dominant allele is sufficient enough to give it black color like in this checkerboard you can see that if we start from the first square First genotype is capital B, capital B, capital W, capital W, which is uh, black because it has four dominant alleles. The other one has three dominant alleles, capital B, capital B, capital W, it is black. The next one has two dominant alleles, capital B and capital W, still it is black and the intensity of the color is only black. So there are just two extremes, black and white will be homozygous recessive. So this is called duplicate genes because the capital B and uh, capital W they are, are uh, duplicating their effects. This is called qualitative inheritance because there are just two extremes black and white and there are no intermediates between them. This is called discontinuous inheritance because there are just two, inherit, uh, two extremes no intermediates. So, duplicate genes, in duplicate genes or qualitative inheritance or discontinuous inheritance, we get a phenotypic ratio of 15 is to 1 and you can split the phenotypic ratio like you have already, you know this. So, genotypic ratio will be 1 is to 2 is to 2 is to 4 is to 1 is to 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 1. Let us now understand the example of polygenic inheritance or quantitative inheritance or additive effect. 
we get the ratio of 1 is to 4 is to 6 is to 4 is to 1 in this inheritance. And polygenic inheritance are examples where the characters are controlled by two or more alleles, two or more pair of alleles which exhibit additive effect during phenotypic expression. There are several examples for polygenic inheritance. Here you can see skin color is example and eye color and height of the individual. When we obtain the progenies uh, of these characters, then we get a bell-shaped graph and we find that extremes of phenotypes are less in number and the intermediates are largest in number. So we will understand it more in the next few slides. Now what is polygenic inheritance? Polygenic inheritance is also called quantitative inheritance, it is also called additive effect and it is also called continuous inheritance. So characters which are controlled by two or more alleles which exhibit additive effect during phenotypic expression is called polygenic inheritance. Now in the previous example of qualitative inheritance or duplicate genes we have just discussed that irrespective of the number of alleles, irrespective of the number of dominant alleles, the intensity of the color will remain same. While in polygenic inheritance, more the number of dominant alleles, more is the expression. That is why it is also called additive effect because the number of dominant alleles keeps on adding the expression of that dominant allele. So what are the points which are related to polygenic inheritance? These are called polygenic traits. So what are the examples of these traits? We have just discussed skin, skin color, eye color and height. And there are other examples also. They follow quantitative inheritance which means that there is variation of the different expression uh, due to addition of dominant alleles. Each trait is controlled by two or more alleles. That is why they are polygenic. Each dominant allele has a fixed amount of phenotypic expression and results in additive or cumulative effect. We have just discussed this point. Now, because of the additive effect of the dominant allele, obviously the individuals which are homozygous for all dominant alleles, they will represent one extreme phenotype and the individuals homozygous for all recessive alleles they will represent another extreme phenotype. What does that mean? It means that the individuals with, with more the number of dominant alleles will be more, uh, uh, more black in color say and the individuals with uh, less number of dominants will be light in color in case of skin color. Now sixth point is the individuals heterozygous for one or more alleles represent grades of phenotypes between the two extremes. It means that the individuals which are heterozygous, they will be intermediate in expression or uh, say if we are taking example of skin color, they will have a intermediate complexion. Say we, have, uh, so we are taking example of height, so they will have a middle height. Not very tall, not very short, but they will have a height which is intermediate between these two heights. So the next point is the number of grades of phenotype is directly related to the number of alleles controlling the trait. It means that more is the number of dominant alleles, more is the number of uh, grades or variations which will be observed. The other the eighth point is in F2 progeny of true breeding parents, the individuals having intermediate represent the highest number. It means that those offsprings which are intermediate in morphotype uh, in morphology or phenotype they will be uh, maximum in number or maximum in percentage ninth point is if the individuals having moderate characters are allowed to breed among themselves they may produce progeny having phenotypes more extreme of both the parents so like if uh, this means that if these intermediate character individuals are um, have a breeding among themselves so they will produce 
uh, the phenotypes which, which will be more extreme than both the parents then like for example if we breed muletto and muletto so there will be on extremes we will find uh, negroes and uh, albinos and if we say um, um, there is breeding between individuals who are uh, fair complexions uh, so uh, the extremes will be dark and albino the tenth point is the phenotypic expression of quantitative trait may get modified because of changes in the environment so this means that the polygenic characters are also affected by environment how can we see how can we uh, 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 understand this say for example the skin tone or the complexion gets gets changed when we go to hills when we are on plains or when we are and when we are on hills our complexion changes we become dark colored in plains and when we spend some time on hills we become light colored so this means that this is this character polygenic characters or quantitative characters they are also affected by environmental factors 11th point is the interacting genes underlying hereditary continuous variations are polygenes or quantitative trait loci so you just remember that these are polygenic characters and these comes under quantitative trait loci and the last point is the examples of polygenic inheritance are skin color eye color height in humans so there are other examples also but for now we will remember that uh, for polygenic inheritance or additive inheritance or quantitative inheritance we have several examples but the most famous uh, ones are skin color eye color and height in humans let us understand polygenic inheritance with the help of skin color in man uh, for simplicity i have taken it is say it is controlled by two pair of alleles and so there is interbreeding between negroes and albino so say muletto is produced so this uh, table represents the number of dominant alleles with respect to the phenotype observed and you can see that the number of when the number of dominant alleles are four the phenotype is negro and the phenotypic ratio is one when the number of dominant alleles are three the phenotype is dark and the phenotypic ratio is four and so on so let us see how it happens let us understand it, it with the help of this checkerboard so you can see that when negroes marries albino in f1 muletto is observed and in f2 uh, when the selfing is uh, is between muletto so in this checkerboard all those genotypes which have all the dem dominant alleles the dominant alleles will be added up and they will have more the dominant alleles more is the intensity of the color so like you can see that the first example which is b1 b1 b2 b2 have four dominant alleles so this will be negro the second one which has three dominant alleles the the uh, all these uh, genotypes which have three dominant alleles they will be dark in color then the all those genotypes which have two dominant alleles same muletto which are marked in red they will be intermediate in complexion then comes fair complexion ones which have just one dominant allele and then albino have no dominant allele. So in this checkerboard you can see that uh, the more the number of dominant alleles more is the more dark is the complexion less the number of dominant alleles less is the complexion. So this is an example of additive effect because the number of dominant alleles are adding up and less the number of dominant alleles the number of dominant less is the complexion so the phenotypic ratio is 1 is to 4 is to 6 is to 4 is to 1 now when we plot a graph with respect to the number of dominant alleles and the number of uh, people who have who are exhibiting this we get a bell-shaped graph so for polygenic inheritance you have to remember that we get a bell-shaped graph and it is additive inheritance because the number of dominant alleles gets added up and this is quantitative inheritance because there is a variation of traits we do, we along with the extremes we also have intermediate inheritance thank you let us uh, let us meet in next lecture